Actually, I'm not in the woods. I'm on the deck. Oh, yeah. Here's the deck. I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking with these trees. Okay, so these trees are they're hanging over the deck. Okay, so the deck is here. And, and you know, there's the house, there's the pathway, and these are the trees. Now, the deck really should not have been built there. The deck should have stopped here. But um, what do I do? Every year they are getting a little bigger. Do I, do I change it so that I can walk here? Do I, you know, I have a bit of a path right here. So do I, do I cut this one off and, and the ends of these and, and then this one, you know? But, but what business do I have doing that? I mean, this tree has been growing every year it's putting out new growth and so this is new and this is new i mean this is all just this year isn't it beautiful i mean this tree is very successful and i really felt guilty and and remorseful about it when i cut off i don't know i cut off something from here somewhere and maybe maybe the yeah the knot is there where i where the little branches are that I cut them off. And and I just, I felt bad about it. And and this is a beautiful tree. Anyway, I think that, you know what happened? I walked in here a minute ago. You know, I just thought, well, let me just see now. What would I have to take off? And so I walked in here. And suddenly, I was no longer dealing with removing branches from a tree. I was in the forest. Look at that. Look how close the forest was. I mean, it's just right there, and I have a place to stand. It it really should have, it, it should really have pine needles on here. You know, like really, if you think about it, like it's going to rot this if you do that. It might be able to put down something, maybe maybe tar paint it or something. But if you were to put pine needles or spruce needles under this and leaves under this, and then you come walking around the corner of the house and we look at it and we say, wow, isn't that nice? The forest is right here and I can walk right in. We wouldn't think, oh, the tree is too big, because if the bottom of it is all forest, you know, that would really change it. I could do that. What do you think? Okay, somebody has to be there. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Somebody needs to be there. I need to know what you think. I think that... So start commenting. Oh, we have one person. Okay, so I want to know what you think. So I was looking at my tree... And I really love my trees, and I love where they live, and all the plants that live beside them. It's really, really hard for me to pull up plants and, be, just, and decide they're not they're in the wrong place. Because they know where they want to grow. You know, like right over here, if you look at this. Well, hello, little squirrel. Boy, there's a lot of you guys. Okay, so... Look at this, but really look at it. Like if you stand here and you look at it and it's like, okay, if I reached in there to weed something out, if it's too many plants for my liking, you know, like, first of all, Nancy, you're pretty darn lucky to live beside the plants that want to grow beside you, right? Like let's, 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 let's get with the program, right? Like this is, I am a pretty lucky person to share what is actually naturally happening on the earth. I mean, it's like the, the earth's own skin. And this is what happens on the earth's own skin. Not on our prep, uh, you know, all the things that we've done to her skin. No, no, on her own skin. Like we have, we have little hair follicles that grow on our own skin, right? Well, have, well Mother Nature... You know, like this, or Mother Earth, or whatever you want to call her. You know, all this, she does not like being naked. 
she really does not like that and in this place all these things have naturally grown that over there has grass which I don't like and so I'm thinking <gasps> and there's a few items of metal that should be further out but you know I like it when my house looks like this let's look at my house okay I'll give you a little tour so this is this is the house of Nancy today so over here we have a plant hanger that a bird feeder hung from once and broke this off okay that's that here we have snowshoes now look at these snowshoes these are old bindings look at this look at how it's got this is this is broken now like how do i replace that where do i get that stuff when i anyway and and um anyway those are my snowshoes and then up here we have hanging these uh, feeders for the woodpeckers and look up here you know, like I looked at Mary's house, and Mary's house has so many cool things there. You know, and yet look at this. I mean, that's a pretty cool piece of wood. I know, it's rather silly. I mean, it's an awesome basket handle, isn't it? I mean, that really needs to be made into a basket, like, tomorrow. That shouldn't be sitting and waiting for another day, much less another 10, 20 years. And look at this. This is my little area. Wherever I go, I have areas and they get messy. We have cedar bark and cedar bark basket beginnings. And oh, this is the basket I made. Hey, yeah. I made all these. I just made this. this. These were what, these were my, um, my examples. For teaching it. That was another. No, I think somebody left it abandoned, or maybe not. Um, and this is the one. Isn't that beautiful? Cedar bark. You know, this is really cool. This is the kind of stuff that I like. This is what I surround myself with. You know, like I have this connection to the earth. And the reason that my deck goes all the way out here is because. For exactly this reason, is exactly this reason, which I never do. It is walking into here and standing between the branches and being by the bark. Like when you look at a tree, I mean, it's almost like looking at, at a, a friend. I mean, look at his bark. You know, this is, this tree is alive. I know I'm starting to sound a bit loopy, but it is. This tree is alive. Do you know that in the winter, if you hold a tree, it's not cold? It's, it's, it's not hard, solid. It's not frozen. Like you would imagine, oh yes, the sap has all gone down into the base, so now it doesn't matter and it can just freeze. But no, no, that's not the way it works. So this is going to have to stay there for a little longer until it starts falling apart. Oh, here it is. You see bark on the tree, right? Like sometimes it's good to just stand and look at your place from somebody else's point of view, somebody else's eyes. Isn't that an inviting little spot? Everything looks so dry. I have water. Are we low on water this year? Like, is there a problem? Is, this is the normal time. This is when the stream is the lowest. There's a smell under here that is very pronounced. Maybe it's this. Hmm, it is. Yes, that, um, this is um, spruce. I think it's white spruce. And it smells like a cat, cat pee. But up here, it's not so strong. Oof, it was really strong in there. Look what lives here. You know, these are all, like, this is a neighborhood, right? Like, there's the bugs that live on them, and then there's the, the rodents, different kind of animals. I really think that I need to put bark on here. Or not bark. I wouldn't want to use bark. I would use, uh, I would use leafy matter. 
You know, I think that would really, that's what I need to do here and just move the, move the silly swing. The silly swing can go over here and look right into the woods. Let's do that. Boy, that was small, strong. Isn't this a nice swing? Let's sit in it first. <laughs> I have these trampoline swing um, springs on. <sighs> so I can sit here and bounce. Isn't that a pretty place in there? You know, can't you just imagine? you imagine you walking in there you know like I have a I have a entrance on the other way but it's not doing anything like I think there's I can't use it because the trees are now bigger it's really interesting watching trees that you plant grow it's like watching your children grow in fact it's very much the same sometimes they do what you want them to do and sometimes they don't but look at this isn't this awesome? Look at this. This is like the confluence. So here we have a, a very, very strong um, Virginia creeper vine holding on to this branch of the, um, of the elm tree. I did cut a few branches here and I destroyed it. Anyway, this branch needs to come up. But, you know, it, it is living where it's living, and it has a reason why it's there. It must be, you know, some reason it got there. It gave it the best sunshine or whatever. Here, I'll put it up like this, and then unless that other one kills it first, this um, Virginia creeper, it can be a branch that'll grow up that way and over. And look at this. See, this is my steps. This is the way to get in. But I can't cut these off. I mean, then they would just be chopped off and you'd have just, you would, it, you would take away all of the essence of what it is in, in those, right? Like when those bushes don't exist, it's just, you know, oh yeah, nice, nice clean walk. But when the bushes exist and you're down here in the bushes, you know, look at this. It's like, in 1814, we took a little trip along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we finally caught the British in the town of New Orleans. Well, we fired our guns and the British kept a coming. It wasn't quite as many as there was a while ago. Fired once more and they began to run it. Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, they ran through the brambles and they ran through the briars and they ran through the bushes where the rabbits couldn't go. Oh, wait, that's what I sang that song so I could get to that part. <sighs> what is this over here? A black garbage bag. Tisk tisk. Yeah, I think I'm gonna figure out a way to preserve the wood so it's not gonna rot. And then I'm gonna put pine needles under that and leaves under this. This is very dry in here. I haven't been in here in a long time. Look at that. A little teacup and saucer. What kind of a person lives here? Interesting place. Look, a little sunshine. A little sunshine. Let it shine into the darkness. What is this here anyway? Uh-huh. You can't live in here. Out. This is our clubhouse. Right, guys? This is our place. Hey. We have more unwanted guests. Out. There. Look at that. See? Now the gate is closed, right? Don't you feel like protected? The gate is closed? If we had just chopped that right off, it's like we're on the way to somewhere. But when you've got that right there, look at look at what it does to this little area. This is, um, <laughs> I tell you every time, it's Persian cornflower. And this is, um, gee, what is it? Sure doesn't look right the way it is. 
Maybe it's obedience flower. I should probably water it. Oh, it's phlox. Gee. Now the bottom of this doesn't look so good, does it? Is there something that I should do or should I do nothing? You know what I could do? This is right now, it's kind of a very uninviting, I'm not friendly kind of a feeling right here. What if I removed those branches and these three branches? And then and then I made I flattened that a little bit in there. Get rid of this um rose bush. Flatten that in there and put a chair in there. And then from in there, you see then I would be able to sit there and and look out. I'm just putting you there. I can't see what it's like from there. You know, but you could sit here and see the rest of this little garden. This is quite a little secret garden, isn't it? Oh, here's my Persian flower sign. It's half of the sign. It goes over here on this side. And it's supposed to be standing up properly. Well, I guess that ship has sailed. We'll just settle for snuggling in and let people grow all over you. How's that? Now that's nice. We could put you right in there. Hey, look, doesn't that look nice? Like he's been there for a long time. We live here too. Right on top of you. There we go. That's nice. These have all broken over. Something's been going on here. Should probably stick the hose down. Why don't we do that? That's because then we have to go out. Okay, we're going to go out the gate. Now be careful. It's kind of pricky. I don't like this side of the gate. It's too prickly. Now, of course, we've gone through a doorway. So I can't remember what in the world I would have left for. Aha, I do remember. I would have left for water. 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 What an interesting person must live here. Like, who hangs up grapevines in front of the door? It, not because they're decorating, but because you need somewhere to hang them. She can come later. Now, if I drill another hole in that, if I bend that in a... If I bend it downward in a vise and drill a hole through it, two holes, I could use it for something. Okay, water. Uh, I revived those flowers. These flowers were not looking very happy the other day. But they look much better now. The purple crane spill seems to have gone the way. But you know what? I think if you get in there with your face and you take off all these seeds if you take them off I think that it will flower again because it wants to go to seed and so it has to make a seed by having a flower get pollinated so if you take off the seeds before they're ready thinking oh no oh no I have to make seeds quick flowers see because everything has to make seeds Every plant, everything, we all make seeds. Look at this uh, leaf, isn't it kind of like a giraffe? It's nice to be in the garden, isn't it? Boy, those really have a sticky substance on it. I wonder what it is and what it's used for. Oh look, we have a, a nettle, two nettles. Quick, I need to harvest them. I think I have, oh look, and it's kind of dry over here too. Look at how dry it is. Oh my. Well, you know, like, it's all quite relative, right? I mean, dry for me is like monsoon for somebody else. I should put something in that for the birds, but oops. I should put something in this for the birds, but if I do, the the raccoons are going to go up and they're going to destroy this thing. 
So these grapes need to stand up. At least I want them to stand up. I think they look very happy exactly where they are. You ever notice that when you when you go in there and you do something in there and then you come out, you've messed it up and it never looks right. Like if you start pulling this vine up to see if you've got any if we've got any berries on it, you know, you start pulling a few things out of place and and then you look at it again and all the leaves are upside down and it's a big mess. Hi, it's just me. I thought I heard someone. Look at this nice spot. Have to fix this white chair. And then there's a little campfire spot. I better not get out there too far. We will lose each other. So we were going to put on the water. Water, water. I hear a song coming on. Cool, clear water. All right, then. I'll show you what it's like to live amongst the Great Lakes. You do this. Ta-da! We are so fortunate. We have so much fresh water. But I don't think that we're going to be keeping it all. I think that will be met with great opposition one day. I love these plants. I really love them. Look at how big they are. And isn't it cool that they're right beside the deck? I mean, I've got to have, a, I need to make window boxes. If there were 50 people in the chat, we'd likely handle it in various ways. I think you already have your answer, dear Nancy. I heard it when you said that you still feel remorse for cutting, cutting that tree. <sighs> Hi, thanks for getting on here and telling me that. What do you think about putting putting uh, pine straw down on the deck? Uh, if I use like that tar, roofing tar or something so that they would be absolutely protected, the deck would absolutely be protected. I could do that, couldn't I? In fact, why, if that would absolutely protect my deck, why don't I do it everywhere already? They have that stuff for driveways. Is that this thing? I guess it's very toxic. There's reasons. Look at this place. Every day it looks like this, all day and all night. And it just changes, you know, it changes a little bit the colors and the lighting and everything. But this is how they live. And they all live together. And the grass, if the grass gets too excited, how did it work? It was a thing. It, the, I had lots of Menarda. And then the grass got into it. Remember, do you remember when? Remember when we used to live here together, you guys and us, and we had a, and we had a, a big greenhouse. Actually, you know, the house is up here. So that was the sun and this was the woodshed. And so right at the edge of the woodshed, there was a little, you know, the, on the side of the woodshed, I always had, this was where I put a chair on the ground. This was the spot right there because it was nice. It was a heat trap. Let's sit there. We have a swing here now. This needs to be enjoyed. Here feels good on my back. Anyway, so this is where the greenhouse was. And then beside the greenhouse, there was a pergola, and it had Christmas lights all over it. And it had, um, what else did it have? Okay, so, so the greenhouse, the greenhouse was right here because these, these yellow tall things, this was growing up right along the edge of the greenhouse. And so that's where the greenhouse was. And then, out in front of those yellow flowers, there were Menarda. And it was beautiful Menarda, and it came up, I guess it came up to about here. And then over here we had a bit of a, the gazebo right over it. That was before this room was here. And this, this thing, this front. You can really change things so you can't ever recognize it again. And, okay, so there was, 
there was the yellow tall ones, and then there was the red ones, and then there was a place where we would sit. And on the other side, there were more, there were more red ones. And there was a, we had a big swing set, a big wooden thing in the middle of it. And I think it was right here. Boy, but these trees were nothing. Oh yeah, the, the those trees were right on the edge of the of the teepee. The the glass teepee was was you know where the edge of that wood is. That was the the glass teepee around there. That was called, wait for it, the Crystal Palace. And all and these trees have now grown up. It's really amazing to see things grow. And you know, this basket, I made this basket at one time. In fact, I think I probably have a video of making it. If you look for it, it's one with fabric strips. This was like taking a big, long, long piece and weaving it in. But you know, the frame has all collapsed. And what do I really want to do? Should I, if I'm going to put in new ones, if I'm going to fix these and spend time working with them, these are in pretty bad shape. But that stayed pretty well. See, this needs the rest of the gods I put back on, and now this is broken in there. Anyway, you guys probably watched me make this. If you actually did watch every single one of my videos, which I can't believe that anybody might actually think that they could have done that, because I don't think it's possible. But anyway, that's all right. <laughs> So um, do I throw this away or do I weave it all again? If I weave it all again, instead of burn it, if I weave it all again, then I can, I can be still holding on to the past, you know? Like I can have that feeling that went on when I was weaving this. You know, that's a pretty peaceful feeling there. See, this stuff, this stuff can't, it, it gets too loose if it comes up. It has to go all the way down until it's tight. But then up here, it just pulls everything apart, everything down, and these are all then open. So I guess I have to, have to add some more in there. Anyway, I don't know why in the world I was doing into that, except that I go into whatever I'm looking at. Like my violin, that could be next. It could happen, There, we could break into song. Oh, we wrote a song yesterday. My friend Lori and I, would you like me to sing it for you? Let me see if I can do that. I'll just lean against the post. I'll get a very photogenic pose here. There, how's that? This girl has watched all your videos. Good grief, it has been 14 years or so. Yes, it has. Have you really? Marie, why won't we ever meet? Wouldn't that be amazing if we met? We might meet. Anyway, so look at, so this is my photogenic look. I don't know why I'm showing you that. What are we doing here? We were thinking of something or other. I really like these flowers, you know? There's a lot of them. This is quite a big patch. I like big patches of things. I really like it than little little ones, you know? Like here where you have just one or, one of three, th you know, one of several different things. I it, it would be nicer if it was all that, the yellow um, mullen. See, and I could gather it. There's a, a beautiful plant there or you know what I could do? I could just seed it. I could get, I just seed it with it, with mullein seeds. Oh look, the sun is on its way. Away we rotate. Wee! Sorry, got a little carried away there, Nancy. So, what do you think about this spot here? Oopsie daisy. That's quite this bounce the springs have. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what do you think about this? Do you think it would be nice if it was, if there was foliage on the deck under it? So it felt, you know, a thick cushion of, of something. 
I, I know I would think about the stuff rotting. But I think it would, I think, I don't think that I want to cut off the branches at the deck. Or even just a little bit. I don't want the branches to have cut ends. You know, you cut it and then they've got cut ends forever. Now that one branch that goes that way. Not all of the way, but just that part of it. That, that's a very prickly branch. And it's, um, it. It would be reason not to go there. So maybe if we got rid of that, then there would that would not be a reason not to go there. I like how this dogwood branch is not dogwood; it's an elm or a ironwood, um, which is called hop hornbeam. It um, that one kind of comes out this way, which is nice because it, once you cut it, then it's just flat against it. So it, it's, I want it to have the inviting edge of a forest feel to it. That's what I want, is the edge of a forest. And I don't want to have to get, take away the deck. Because then I won't go in it. I, if, if the deck is underneath, if I've got a nice stable place I can go to, I'll do it. But if I have to step down, and who knows the shape my back is in that day, and I just don't do that. But I will walk into this and back. And I like the position of this swing. What do you think? I think this is a very nice location for it. <sighs> it's really, it's very nice to be here and enjoy my home, you know? It's, there's very few days that we've had to be home. You know, there have been days, weekends here and there, middle of the weeks here and there, and... But it's but I and Willem has been here constantly for a few weeks, but I haven't been here alone. I was here the other day. I think it was yesterday. I don't know. I was this week. I was babysitting the children Monday and Tuesday. I think or no Tuesday and Wednesday. And 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 so that was that was um. And so I was busy. I was involved with the children and playing with the children. And I, I wasn't, um, I wasn't focused on on appreciating, you know, appreciating my place so much. I had a lot to do. I had a lot of things to put away, and a lot of tidying up to do. And and I didn't have much time because I had to go back and forth with children a lot. And you know, play with the children too. And I got very, very tired. And so I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up on my sleep. I'm gonna just take care of myself for a few days. You know, I'm gonna have some mental, mental health days. It's a lot of. It's been a very, um, it's been a very physically challenging thing we've been doing since the end of April. You know being a missionary. I love that. I love that. There's nothing better than wearing this. It's like, yay, now I'm planted right smack dab in the middle of the church. Uh, it just, it's like, it's like I'm embraced. It's like I'm, and people treat me that way. People see it and, and they embrace me. It's, oh, hi, sister, where are you from? You know, where do you live? Where's home? And we're not far, and we come home a lot, which is, you know, it's not like it's in Uganda, and it's right here. It's just down the road a few hours. <laughs> what did you just say? I remember that being able to walk out into a forest was a must when you and Will and your Willem were looking for a house to buy. Mission accomplished. Isn't that interesting? Like, this has taken 25 years, you know? But, you know, we bought the house. That was very, very quickly. It all fell into place. And that was 25 years ago. But growing a forest takes a little bit of time. And I grew these. Well, I grew the, the, I grew the firs from scratch. But these other deciduous ones, um, these are volunteers. 
But you know what? It's really important that, that the seeds that germinate and do well together are allowed to live together. It's, you know, like I planted, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, fir trees in here. Spruce. I think they're all spruces. Spruce eye. They're all spruce trees. And then, then this one here and the one behind it and... And then a run around the side. These are deciduous trees. But you know, it's a really important thing in a forest that trees grow the way they grow. If the, if the tree does not like it, or, or if it's used its time up and knows that now it's, it needs to send its nourishment through, down through the roots to give to the other two trees, you know, like, so if it, if it dies off, then that, and that's a natural process. You know, and the other trees grow up and take its place and its progression. It's neat to be able to walk out of your door and see progression. You know, like, I mean, you can see that in your garden, but your garden is pretty quick. It's a quick turnover. But when you're looking at trees, you know, I can remember when this tree was smaller. I have memories associated with something that is no longer there because it has grown twice as big. It's all different. So my, my memory is not transferable to this because this, the, the tree that was there isn't there anymore. It's changed. You know, there was this place at my grandmother's house called Basswood. And we used to, there was, it was a little house, and, and, and somehow these little trees remind me of, maybe it was behind Basswood, but it was, there was a nice little place where we six grandchildren would go play. Those were really interesting days. Wouldn't it be fun to go and play as a grandchild together once? Just once, let's just one afternoon, could we just just go f to one really awesome afternoon once upon a time when I had a wonderful day with my, my relatives or my friends or something. And poof, there you are having that experience, reliving it. You know, there's a lot of things in Harry Potter that are, you know, once you've got it in a book, it seems to come to life. Like, you know, they started with Star Trek. And and Star Trek Star Trek went for a while and then and then um Yeah, and then technology caught up and we have the same things as Star Trek. And then Well, it just seems to keep going that way, don't you think? And see in the forest again? I love it in there. Isn't that pretty? I'm wondering about making a little place in there. Because right now this is, a, this is a dangerous place when I'm in there. I don't like that area. I avoid that area because it's prickly. But I would have to maintain the, the branches on the outside. Otherwise, it would just go right in. You'd just see right through it. You'd be part of that. That would be interesting, you know, to put a step ahead of it and walk down into that little area. But I don't wanna I don't wanna take that tree away. I like that tree. We're not gonna look at that anymore. We're gonna look at this. You know, this is a really, really interesting spot. Like down under here is where the car tires are. The last year's tires are the, the winter and summer tires. And then down there, there's a teacup trail. And, and if you continued that pathway, there's many teacups along it, you know? 
And, and here you've got a little place where you could step down. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe if that branch were gone and there were some nice leaves on the, on the deck, dry leaves or straw, straw is nice, but it wouldn't go. Maybe pine needles. Well, no, they seem to hold the water. What would it be? What would be best? How about thresh? And then we could put a little a little board along the edge there, and and it would be the threshold. So what do you you know like, I when I I lived in a in a grass hut in Jamaica for a while, and we had a dirt floor. And so I had to sweep the dirt floor every day. Can you imagine living like that? Where you have to sweep the dirt floor every day and the way to do it first so that it doesn't have dust is to sprinkle a little water on it. And then, and you sweep it around a little bit and it, it fixes it and then you, and you don't just sweep it with a broom. You make a broom. All the twigs, there's lots of twigs. Oh, you know, speaking of twigs, cedars, none of which these are, these are, this is a white spruce, and I think that one through there might also be a white spruce, and this one close by might might be a, a I don't know, a nice spruce, a nice pleasant one. Not, not so prickly as a, I think it's a white spruce. This is, it smells like cat pee. Oh, well, you know, this is the way that it is. But it's, some people like that lovely smell of cappy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It looks like a post in there. And where is this now? I'm looking over there, and that is that, and that is that. And so this is this, and there's the white right in the middle. Okay, so those are the teacups. Let's see if I go down. I know. How about right there? Look at that. Kind of looks like water, doesn't it? Shimmering water. Anyway, those are teacups on posts. There. Look at that. Visibility has has arrived. Anyway, so there's uh, somewhere closer. That's the road. So this is down in my little paradise. What should we call this little place? We don't have a name for it. It needs a, play, a name. It's like a clubhouse. It's like a forest. It's like a tree house. It is. It's like a tree house. Or a secret garden. No, I like it being a tree house. It's a house which is made of trees. On all sides are trees. And so you now have trees as your walls. And so it is a tree house. There. I don't know if you like that or not, but I'm gonna do that. So that's a tree house. <laughs> See, uh, as a skeleton. No, but those are trees are not skeletons. <sighs> trees give off good stuff. You know, you sit here and you're forest bathing. Isn't that cool? There's a name for this. And you're sitting here forest bathing and you're breathing in these essential oils that are airborne. And, and if you get really close to the leaves, really, really close, and they're busy making oxygen and you put your nose to it, I guess we have somebody else wants our attention for a moment. Let's just listen. Okay, we're every, we're all here now. We're ready. And of course, we spend our time figuring out where he is. He must have been a rescue plane or perhaps one of those hospital transport planes. A lot of hospitals aren't open anymore. Uh, you know, there a lot of them are. Isn't this a nice little area? What an underused area. 
all that edging and stuff. I really like all those plants that grow there to grow together because that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's always been. And that's the way they work it. When we're not in the middle of it, that's the way it grows. Anyway, so and I guess I like the way the Indians are, the natives, the indigenous peoples, the First Nations. Wait, so... Oh. Now, I guess I like the way the Indians are. Oh, the now I can see myself doing this. Oh, now I can see myself doing this. Oh, now I can see myself doing this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really, this is really strange to, um, to be oh watching my myself in real really, time really on television. I guess it's, to, it's um, like, it's like you're up there giving a, um, in real time on television. I guess it's, it's like, it's like you're up there giving a, um, in real time on television. I guess it's So that's what you look like. Wow, is that me? So that's what you look like. Wow, is that me? So this is like. really funny to watch myself and see what I do. Look at those crooked teeth. Oh, now look at her. It's really funny to watch myself oh. and see what I do. Look at those crooked teeth. Oh, now look at her. It's on a loop. It, every, it hears it and it keeps going and it keeps going. So that's what I look like. It's on a loop. It, every, it hears it and it keeps going and it keeps going. So that's what I look like. My goodness. Well, anyway. So why did we do this? Oh, I know why. Because I wanted to watch the... Oh, well, not again. Um, I wanted to watch the beginning of the movie. I wonder... Okay, let me... Let me pause that. Okay. Okay, now she's paused. <laughs> this is so weird. This is really weird. Okay, so... Okay, so now I want to rewind it to the beginning. Can you rewind it? Oh, look, we can rewind it. Oh, good. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so now what we'll do is we're going to start at the beginning, and I'm going to see what kind of thoughts I have. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I never see what it looks like for, from anybody else's point of view. I get these these bizarre thoughts, you know, and to me, they're not bizarre. They're very logical, wonderful thoughts. But to other people, other people see world, the world so differently than I do. And I don't like houses that are bald. I don't like it when they're bald inside or when they're bald outside. It's just... It's not comforting. It's stark. The gal's so nice, she said it twice. <laughs> ah. Okay, so let's watch this, okay? And let's analyze it. So I'm going to turn you around, and then we're going to analyze Nancy today, who is on live, but we're not going to think that far into the future. Okay. In the woods on the back. Oh yeah, here's the duck. I'm I'm looking at this and thinking with these trees. Okay, so these trees are they're hanging over the deck. Okay, so the deck is here. And 
and and you know there's the house there's the pathway and these are the trees but um what do i do every year they they are getting a little bigger <laughs> do i do i change it so that i can walk here do i you know i have a bit of a path right here so do i do i cut this one off and and the ends of these and and then this one you know but no, but you can't do that. What business do I have doing that? Yay. Smart, Nancy, yesterday. Year, it's putting out new growth. That's right. And so this is new, and this is new. I mean, this is all just this year. I mean, it's like, it these are like oh, your babies, right? Very successful. You wouldn't cut off the the, your, really your, the puppy's paws or toes or something. I'm remorseful this. about it. When I cut off. I don't know, I cut off something from here somewhere. And maybe maybe the yeah, the knot is there where I where the little branches are that I cut them off. And and I just Yeah, I, I really don't, don't like that area very much. And and this is a but I, tree. Anyway, anyway, I think that you know what happened? I walked in here a minute ago. You know, I just thought, well let me just see now, what would I have to take off? And so I walked in here. What and is she suddenly, doing now? I was no longer dealing with removing branches from a tree. I was in the forest. Look at that. Look how close the forest was. I mean, it's just right there, and I have a place to stand. It, it really should have... It, it should really have pine needles on here. You know? Like, really... If you think about it, like it's going to rot this if you do that. You might be able to put down something, maybe maybe tar paint it or something. But if you were to put pine needles or spruce needles under this and leaves under this, and then you come walking around the corner of the house and we look at it and we say, wow. Isn't that nice? The forest is right here and I can walk right in. We wouldn't think, oh, the tree is too big, because if the bottom of it is all forest, you know, that would really change it. I could do that. What do you think? Okay, somebody has to be there. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Somebody needs to be there. I need to know what you think. <laughs> I think that... So start commenting. Oh, we have one person. Okay, so... I want to know what you think. So I was looking at my tree, and I really love my trees, and I love. Where she always they live. starts over for the and new person. All the plants that live beside them. It's really, really hard for me to pull up plants and, be, and decide they are not they're in the wrong place because they know where they want to grow. You know, like right over here. If you look at this. Connection isn't very good on that corner. Boy, there's a lot of you guys. Okay, so look at this. But really look at it. Like if you stand here and you look at it, and it's like, So what do you see when you okay, look at it? Okay, if I reached in there to weed something out, if it's too many plants for my liking, you know, like, first of all, Nancy, you're pretty darn lucky to live beside the plants that want to grow beside you, Right? <laughs> like, let's, 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 She's a nutcase, isn't she? Them, right? <laughs> like, this is. I am a pretty lucky person to share what is actually naturally happening on the earth. I mean, it's like the, the earth's own skin. And this is what happens on the earth's own skin. Not on our prep, uh, you know, all the things that we've done to her skin. No, no. On her own skin. Like, we have. We have little hair follicles that grow on our own skin, right? Well, have, well, Mother Nature, you know, like this, or Mother Earth, or whatever you want to call her, you know, all of this, she does not like being naked. She really does not like that. And in this place, all these things have naturally grown. That over there has grass, which I don't like, and so I'm thinking, <clears throat> And there's a few items of metal that should further out. But you know, I like it when my house looks like this. Let's look at my house, okay? 
give you a little tour. So this is this is the house of Nancy today. So <laughs> over here we have a plant hanger that a bird feeder hung from once. And it's interesting to watch off. this with you. Here we have snowshoes. Now look at these snowshoes. These are old binding. I've look got a lot of good got, memories on those this snowshoes. Is, this is broken now. Like, how do I replace that? Where do I get that stuff? And I, anyway. And, and um, anyway, those are my snowshoes. And then up here we have hanging these uh, feeders for This the, is very interesting to watch. I mean, that's a very yeah, nice house. Look at that pretty wood. Yeah, like I looked at Mary's house, and Mary's house has so many cool Eclectic. Mary's house you know, is eclectic. Yeah, look at this. I mean, that's a pretty cool piece of wood. I know, it's rather silly. I mean, it's an awesome basket handle, isn't it? I mean, that really needs to be made into a basket, like, tomorrow. That shouldn't be sitting and waiting for another day, much less another 10, 20 years. And look at this. <laughs> it's this been around a while. Area. Wherever I go, I have areas, and they get messy. We have... We wrote a... Bark. Here, hold on a and second. Let me pause this. Cedar bark so, so my friend and I wrote a song the other day. We wrote a song about... Um, is this interesting, watching me watch this? I mean, this is interesting because it's very interesting for me. I never, ever, ever watch myself. But I'm fascinated by what I'm saying. So if I'm talking about something, I am riveted. I It fascinates me, whatever the topic is that I'm talking about. <laughs> it's very interesting. I'm, you know, like your subconscious, it, it's totally invisible to you, but it's as clear as the nose on your face to everybody else. And so when I'm watching this, and she doesn't look like me. She doesn't act like me. So it's pretty easy for me to pretend she's somebody else. And I can look at her and think whatever I'm going to think about her. She's a pretty nice person. So what were we talking about? Why did we pause it? Did we finish talking about that yet? Let's see. Let's get beginnings. And oh, this is... We would just go back just a little bit. Oh, this had to do with that. The ba basket handle. Let's see. It really needs to be made into a basket. I, like, I really uh, like uh, that. Tomorrow. Where Where's my thing? There it is. That shouldn't be sitting and waiting for another day, much less another 10, 20 years. And look at this. This is my little area. Wherever I go, I have areas, and they get messy. We have cedar bark. <laughs> and cedar bark basket beginnings. <laughs> that is so funny. That is so funny. So so my friend Marie, who's called Love Them Anyway and some numbers, um, she she's she's been around for a long time. She's in California. Hey, if I ever come to California, I should come over. Wouldn't we have a time? Anyway, she said, I found you years ago by searching sorting and organizing but stayed for your personality you're more of an event than a person <laughs> oh that is so funny i love that about you <laughs> heart 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 oh that is so cute but you know this is the best way to psychoanalyze yourself like to really look at yourself and figure the way how how your mind works, like that's that's pretty that's pretty heavy stuff. Looking at myself to see watching how my mind works, because I I don't see people like that. I see other people doing things the way they do things. I never see anyone doing things the way I do things. And so if I watch a video of myself doing things that I do in whatever way I do them, if I watch that, it's like, whoa, somebody else does that too. <laughs> I've never had that experience. I'm, I am all alone in this world of people. I, my brain type is just not 
It's not there. I mean, people, there's organized brains and there's, there's chaotic brains. And I'm not sure where my brain fits in all that spectrum. Somewhere in there between really messy and hoarding. <laughs> Okay, maybe not really messy. Maybe we'll say between hoarding and messy. <laughs> what do you think? Nobody's here. You guys are in there. That's what I love about you. <laughs> you don't take up much space at all, do you? Look at that. It's like it's like the little putians. You remember with Glendal Glitch and and all these tiny little little putians and she could hold them in her hand. And and they had tied up. There was wait a minute. Was Gil Gulliver her friend, or was she a, she a little putty in too? You know, I haven't heard Willem read that story to the kids for so many years. He used to read the kids stories to the kids. That was one of his chores, because by the time they got home. I was done. I couldn't do any more. And so his jobs were to give the kids a bath, to read them stories and put them to bed. But sometimes I would, I would lie down with them. A lot of the time I would lie down with them. All the time I was lying down with somebody. I was always lying down. Why did I just say that 10 times? Is it because I remember there were a few times I didn't, and I think I should have. So am I, am I, is that like a, a tell? <sighs> All that psychoanalysis, psychobabble. Now I have to plug in my phone, you know. If I don't, we will suffer the consequences. Let me push this button and just see how much battery I've got left. I don't know. Five minutes. Ten percent. Ten minutes. If I plug it in, ha, everything restarts. I had a good time today. You want to know what I did? I went out in the lake. And I went, I took the trailer. And, and we drove to the lake, and I parked it beside the lake, and I took my clippers, my long-handled orange clippers, and I walked into the lake, and, <clears throat> and it started out to be this, this deep, and then it got deeper and deeper, and I walked way, way out in the lake, and I didn't have shoes on, and there was a lot of clams on the bottom, but they were, they were all pointed upward, and they all had this feeling of being alive. Not like, I don't know, there was something... It was a nice feel to them. They did feel alive when I walked across them. But I don't think they're moving. They do move sometimes. They burrow in. I don't know. I don't really know what does the clam do. How does it react when a boat goes by and, and there's too much wave action where he is? Does he burrow in deeper? Or does he wiggle himself out so he can float away? How does he, how does he, what does he, how does he care about that? You know, when you're at this ocean's edge, you realize that there's an entire little culture going on at the edge of the water. There's a whole little, um, like in Minecraft, it would be like a Minecraft village of some sort, but it would be, anyway. But you have this, this, this certain amount, certain animals and certain, fish and, and snails and um, and then you have and then you have algaes and you have whatever microbacteria are in oceans you know all those things like krill or whatever it is that feeds things and how we get our oxygen there's there's some process that goes on that leaves all this this debris on the bottom of the ocean and I think that's part of the process of making oxygen. Is that right? Something like that. You know, one of those many documentaries I've seen and they all just kind of get 
it's like you oh you got to clean off the table you got all these piles of information from documentaries but you're, you you got to clean it off the table and so you swoop them all into the laundry basket and it goes in the bedroom on the corner on top of the other one and 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 in all that that you just threw away was your ideas is that what we were doing your piles Anyway, and so I guess what just happens is like a hard drive reset. <laughs> and all of our memory is gone. Whoop! Start over now. Oh, do we have another day? Now, is this the same day as it was yesterday? Is it still tomorrow? Is it, know, is it tomorrow yet? That's a very pretty thing there on the wall, isn't it? Let's look at that. Look at that. First of all, look at that window. Look at how big the window is. And look at what's outside of it. I mean, we are in the forest. Once again, we should have pine needles under that. You know, that is a really good point. Because it's it the, the deck under that tree is generally quite moist. So if we were to put something on there like some kind of an artificial carpet and then put... Um, Artif what is that called? Artificial turf or something? Put that on the deck and then on it put a whole lot of leaves. And so it was a soft place that's been forest for forever, right? And that could be right outside the... You know, I, I, it's interesting that they will sell you... They'll sell you peat moss and they'll sell you sod and they'll sell you all different types of soils or mulches and things. But they don't sell you forest floor. Everything is like there's a cedar mulch and there's a... Pine mulch. Look, I don't know what kinds of mulches there are. Anyway, whatever there are, there are. Anyway, but you can't buy it in the store. You have to go out in the forest and find some and put it there. What an awesome idea. And you know what also would go really well with that? Twigs. Little twigs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know where this is coming from, eh? You see, at the camp, we're missionaries. Ta -dum, ta -dum. There's my missionary tag again. Ta -dum. Anyway, um, at the camp, we... We have the intention uh, of having a, a shortcut lawn. And the amount of shade does not always let it happen the way we want it to. And so we're going on the assumption that it's working. <laughs> we cut the grass really short. And so we can't have any twigs anywhere. So all the twigs are removed. And, you know, it no longer feels like you're in the woods camping because you've, now you've removed the carpet. It's like you, you take out the carpet. All you have is a cement floor, right? So you don't take out the carpet. And it's the same way, you know. That really looks very nice outside. And I think I would like it a lot if there were... And you see how I'm kind of, how I'm kind of nesting into this area, I'm nesting into those trees out there, and I'm nesting into, what was the other tree? There was, oh yeah, one at the corner there, and now this one, and I'm seeing them as if they are, if, if I want a tree that close so that I can feel like I'm in the woods, then my feet are gonna have to think I'm in the woods too. And there's a little ecosystem between the, the moist forest floor and the branches which you don't get if it's a deck. And you might not want it if it's a deck. You might want it hot and dry all the time. But, you know, if you were to put mulch on the deck, I know, I know, it's going to rot the deck. I hear you, I hear you. La, 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 la. <laughs> but if you, just go with me here. We're dreaming, eh? Dreaming is fun. Hey, I left the door open. Silly me, that's right, we got sidetracked. Does that surprise you? Have you ever been sidetracked before? 
when you were with me. Is this a pretty normal day? I think it's pretty normal. Let's go get some water. You know, oh, here. You know, you're about the most important person that's ever going to come here. So I should walk in front of the camera, which is you, and, and sprinkle these, these rose petals on the floor in front of you. You know, like really, wouldn't that be cool to take glue and, and put them in, it's, you know, somehow put glue on them and then, and then put them where you walk? Like, wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be a hoot? I mean, we have rose petals on the piano in a bowl in the first place so that if anybody important ever comes, we can be rose bearers and we can throw the roses down on the floor in front of them. Get with the program. You need a bowl. And all you have to do is every time you see rose petals anywhere, on the ground, under a rose bush, or, you know, you just pick them up and you put them in, and before you know it, you've got your very own bowl of roses that can be strewn for rose, for rose bearers. You know where they could go? They could go on top of the mulch. Let's go out here and have a look at what we're talking about. Nancy, you left the door open. Now, Nancy, what have we told you? What have we told you before about leaving the door open? Hmm? Hmm? Well, I know. There we go. Wow, you know, you go through a doorway and everything changes. You know, you forget everything you were going to go outside for. Like, don't ask me about what that was about. Now, I do have a few items that are out of place. Like, there's that lid and this thing and these things, and this thing, and that thing, and that thing, and these, these things. I am something else. Sammy says I'm something. Look at this. Look at this. I found this little tiny at the roadside. And it had, it was all ripped up. It had fabric, and it was all ripped up. And, you know, I have little grandchildren. And so I, I, I wove it with cattails. Isn't this the best? Can you believe that? And then there's the chair, and I have to finish it. But Nancy, why don't you want to finish it? What is it about finishing it that you don't like? Let's look at this. Well, I have to wet it. And how am I going to wet it? You could use a hose. Well, no. See, the, it's going to break. It needs to be submerged. Well, let's see. You could, what could you do? You could lean it, you could pull it forward. Will it, if you pull it pull forward far enough, and you could, and you could put it down in a, in a swimming pool or something. Or you, what about hosing it down? Could you just hose it down? I have some here, and I bet these are moist. We're having a dry spell, remember? Anyway, I just love this little thing. And look, what does this little area look like? I mean, look at this area. Well, now, we could do, we could make it look more inviting. Definitely. Right now, it just looks like a place you walk through. Like, let's just get, let's get, just get through this. What about if these were all placed nicely and, and in some kind of a, a design and, and this would back up there, and that this stool table should be there, and and that white box of things should be gone, and and these I guess should be hung up somewhere or taken around the back, used for something. They've just been dying, and this should go in the sunroom, and those metal poles should go on the driveway. Hey, now I wonder if I could use them. What is it I need? Now, see, I'm going to make a I'm going to make some kind of an arbor here. I'm going to make a way something for these to climb on and across and down. The grapes after all these years of grapes, and I, you know, last a few years ago, I laid a whole bunch of them down. 
because I had I had one that kept having all these coming up, and so I just buried everything. I buried the one the, the, that vine, and then everything else stuck stuck out, and then they grew, and so then they're all separate plants. But I don't really need to to separate them because there's I don't know how many there are maybe. Okay, maybe there's too many. Whatever.